lung cancer is it's a serious disease. Part of why it's so serious is that early detection is really hard. A summary of some studies was saying that diesel was associated on average with a 40% increased relative risk for lung cancer. There's one fairly famous study that really got me going. It's called No Breathing in the Isles. Now they measured diesel exhaust in school buses. The levels that they found inside the bus were eight to ten times higher than they found behind the bus. Which is, of course, really dangerous, especially for children, as their lungs are still developing, their, all their vital organs are still developing. They're taking in more air per pound for their body size than an adult would be taking in. So they're interacting with that pollution a lot more than an adult is interacting with that pollution. So in California, they determined that there's an elevated risk for cancer just from riding a school bus from K through 12, you know, back and forth to school, that increased risk for cancer on the order of about 4% as opposed to not riding the bus. But there's also, frankly, there's an increased risk for asthma as well. Once you have asthma, you always have asthma. It's a disease where the airways become suddenly inflamed and constricted, and it severely restricts uh, your ability to, to breathe normally. Here's a nice, healthy airway. It's light pink. There's, there's lots of room here. I can easily stick my finger in there. It's, it looks really healthy and good. In comparison, here's what an airway in the middle of an asthma attack would look like. It gets really inflamed and irritated. It fills with mucus. And along with this airway constrict, constriction is a, kind of a tightening of muscles as well. And so, you know, depending on the severity of the asthma for people, it, it can be mild discomfort or it can be turning blue and not, not at all being able to take in a breath. When you look at Oregon, we've got asthma rates that are climbing over 300,000. 64,000 roughly of those are children. Asthma is the number one chronic disease for kids and the number one a chronic disease reason that kids miss school. And, and so it's, our, it's costing us a lot of money. And it's not just people with respiratory disease. With diesel, that's part of the problem. There's this fine particulate matter and that's some of the most dangerous part of that pollution.